is the Chinese Zipo City, which shoot to fame because of its unique barbecue. It's back in the limelight, and this time around, its cause of fame has turned out to be calligraphy and painting. Despite lacking prominent tourist attractions, Zipo has managed to generate global interest in a short span of time. What sets Zipo apart? Let's start with the barbecue. Tourists are treated to a mouth-watering feast of small pancakes, spring onions, and unique semi-self-service experience. But what truly sets the boy apart is its vibrant atmosphere and the warmth of its people. In the first quarter of this year, the boy with a population of 4.7 million received an astonishing 11.8 million visits. The government's proactive approach played a significant role in this, thanks to the government's proactive measures such as barbecue trains and a strong focus on the service quality. The boy has become a hotspot for travelers. Beyond culinary delights, Zibo now offers artistic pleasures. Over 200 artists have set up stores in the city, creating art on the spot and selling at affordable prices, picking interest both online and offline. One of the largest e-commerce apps in China for second-hand items witnessed a surge in demand for Zibo's culture products. Acknowledging the trend, the local government organized free calligraphy and painting activities for public during the recent Dragon Ball Festival holiday. From savory barbecue to captivating calligraphy and painting, Zibo caters to both physical and spiritual needs. With hospitable locals and the responsive government, Zibo is leaving a lasting impression on tourists. Have you ever been there before? Share your experience with us in the comments.